Welcome to the Monday, May 19th, 2014 edition of Ernie Barry's Daily Video, sponsored by Ernie Barry's set of seafood wall charts. In today's video, Red Lobster is sold in a multi-billion dollar deal. Plus, we recap the latest fed cattle numbers. But first, a new survey finds a health-driven shift in consumer food choices. Here with the story is your host, Jamie Chadwick. According to findings by the IFIC Foundation's 2014 Food and Health Survey, the number of American consumers who consider healthfulness when purchasing their food and beverages has shown a significant uptick in the past two years. While taste and price have consistently been the top two factors that impact consumers' food and beverage purchases in the past, healthfulness in 2014 almost entirely closed the gap with price, rising from 61% of consumers in 2012 to 71% this year. In terms of nutrients and components consumers are trying to increase their intake of, fiber, whole grains, and protein top the list. The survey also showed about half of all consumers use nutrition information such as calorie counts when eating out at restaurants. For more on this and other food industry surveys, head over to foodmarket.com. Last week, Darden Restaurant Group saw the end to its reign among leading seafood purchasers with the sale of its Red Lobster brand. We bring in seafoodnews.com staff writer Michael Ramsing for more details. Last Friday, Darden Restaurants announced the sale of its Red Lobster seafood chain to Golden Gate Capital in a $2.1 billion cash deal. The sale was brokered despite heavy opposition from investors, led by Starboard Capital, which had attempted to hold a special meeting to prevent the deal. It was on the back of Red Lobster, the largest casual dining seafood chain in the country, that Darden had become a premier seafood buyer. For years, Darden was the largest purchaser of Canadian snow crab and lobster, with its commitments keeping many of those plants in business. But the globalization of the seafood industry in recent years has not been kind to the Red Lobster model. Darden recognized this shift and saw the sale as a way to cut its losses and focus on its other brands. Under new ownership, Red Lobster will not disappear, but will downsize, though it remains to be seen if the chain will evolve into a mass market brand with lower seafood expectations or shift into a premium seafood brand with fewer stores and a higher income customer base. But for Darden, its leading role as a premier player in the seafood industry is over, and according to SeafoodNews.com editor John Sackton, proves to be a true marker of change in the U.S. seafood industry. Thanks, Michael. We wrap up today's show with Box Beef Marker reporter Gary Morrison reviewing some takeaways from Friday's Cattle on Feed report. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's latest monthly Cattle on Feed report, released Friday afternoon, showed fewer animals in the nation's feedlots than a year ago, extending the string of months below the previous year to 21. According to Erner Barry Newswire's Kurt Thacker, not since August 2012 have more cattle been in the feed yards compared with the prior year. The nation's cattle herd, as of January 1st, was the smallest since 1951, and the reduction in recent years was driven in large part by the severe drought in the key cattle producing regions, along with record high feed costs and lack of water. The number of animals on feed at the beginning of this month was reported at 10.648 million head, 1% below the same month last year, and 2% below the five-year average of 10.859 million. The average of analyst estimates for the on-feed figure was about 10.674 million head, or 0.8% below a year ago. More details from the Fed Cattle Report and other red meat headlines can be found under the news link in Comtel. Thanks, Gary. That concludes our video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Today's video is sponsored by Erner Berry Seafood Wall Chart Series. These fully laminated wall charts focus on the U.S. market and emphasize the most common commercial Gulf of Mexico, East Coast fish and shellfish and sport fish. Please visit shop.ernerberry.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your posters today.